My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today happens to be our lesson number 47, not 46. 47. Yesterday we talked about the concept of order of operations. We're going to continue with that today. We're going to continue with the same notion today. We're going to do a few more problems. As yesterday, just like yesterday's video, I want to, I want to emphasize and I want to bring it to your attention that this word here, which is commonly mispronounced in this plural form, it's parenthesis, parenthesis, and if it's plural, first of all, make sure that the spelling changes from I, from S-I-S to S-E-S, and it becomes plural, and in that case, it is to be pronounced Parentheses, just like hypothesis, hypothesis, parentheses, parentheses. Do you understand? Make sure you pay attention to it, make sure you do not mispronounce it, make sure you do not misspell it. Parentheses are, are the ones that we are supposed to do first in the order of operations, then we do the exponents. We, yesterday we learned that multiplication and divisions they have the same priorities, doesn't matter which one you do first. And similarly, if, it, if, if you're required to do a whole bunch of addition and subtraction, it really doesn't matter which order you go into, you're going to get the same answer. Addition and subtraction, just like multiplication and divisions, have the same priority. Let's do some problems. Let's do some problems. Number one. Three plus four times four plus seven. Let's see what we can do here. Well, our job is to start out always with the innermost parenthesis. Innermost parenthesis, this one right here, 4 plus 7, that gives us 11, so we end up with 4. We end up with, uh, we end up with 4 times 11, 4 times 11, and now we have plus 3. Notice that I changed the form to this, this parenthesis as opposed to that one. It doesn't matter now, because the inner, inner one is gone, so now it really doesn't matter if, I, if we change the form. form if we change the, for the, 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 the variant of the, of the parenthesis, it's not going to do anything, it doesn't do any harm, it has no significance. 4 times 11 is 44, so we end up with 3 plus 44, which is 47. Is that all there was? I think I messed up something. 4 times 11 is 44, 44 plus 3 is 47. Number 2. Number 2. We have 5 minus 2 squared plus 6. Well, we have to first again do the parenthesis. So we write, see right here, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 2, we have to take care of that. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 is being squared plus 6. After we take care of the parenthesis, next comes exponents. Right here is the exponent, so we have to take care of that part. Next, 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 6 is going to give us 15. Let's do number 3. Let's do number 3. You do, you do it with me, okay? Number three. Pause the video and do it yourself. I insist on it. Number three. We have seven times six divided by three times two. Seven times six divided by three times two. Well, let's see what we can do. Seven times six is 42 divided by 3 times 2, which is 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. 46, 42 divided by 6 is 7. Now, if this is what you did, if this is what you did, listen very carefully, this, if this is what you did, this answer is in fact wrong. This answer is in fact wrong. This answer would have been correct, listen very carefully, this answer would have been correct because what we did was, what we did was, we, must, we took care of 7 times 6 first. Well, the only way we can do 7 times 6 first, as if it were one quantity in itself, is when we have a parenthesis around it. Similarly, we took care of 3 times 2 first, as if that were a quantity in itself. That is, that is not the case. The only way this answer would have been true is if we also had a parenthesis around that one. If we had something like this, in that case, this answer is correct. But that is not what we had. That is not what we were given. So let's do the problem. Let's do the problem the way it is given to us, okay? Watch what happens. We have 7 times 6 divided by 
3 times 2. When you have whole multiple multiplication and division together, our job is to go strictly from left to right, strictly from left to right. 7 times 2, 7 times 2 is 42, then we divide 42 by 3, 42 divided by 3, 42 divided by 3, how many 3's in a 4? 4 has 1 3, the remaining one goes and joins 2 becomes 12 and 12 has 4 3's. So it's 42 divided by 3 again would be 14 and then times 2, so we do times 2 and we get 28. The correct answer, the correct answer to this problem is 28, not a 7. Now I myself, I myself would not have done it this way because this is very time consuming and very tedious way. Just do the, when you have a whole bunch of multiplication and division, it doesn't matter how many multiplication and division you have, as long as they all multiplication and division, you can do the entire thing in just one shot. Did you know that? Do, it in, do the entire thing in one shot, regardless of how many there are, by setting it up as a fraction. Let's do it again. I'm, we're going to redo this thing again. Uh, redo this thing again. That's redundant. We're going to redo this one. Okay? Watch what happens. I'm going to erase this part. And we're going to redo it. Don't do it in this damn childish way. Just set it up. Exactly what it says here. 7 times 6 divided by 3 times 2. Voila. 3 cancels out with... There you go. That's it. We're done. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 7 is 28, which is exactly what we found before. Number 4. Number 4. Negative 7 times 6 minus 3, 6, 6 minus 9 plus 3. First we do the parentheses, 6 minus, 6 minus 9 is negative 3, negative 3 and positive 3 is going to give us a 0, 0 times negative 7, well it doesn't matter what is in the front, 0 times anything is just 0, 0 times anything is just a big fat 0. Number 5, number 5, we have 3 plus 7 times 2. What do we do now? 3, do we go from left to right? Do we do, we do 3 plus 7 and then multiply? 3 plus 7 is 10 and then we multiply 10 by 2? The answer is no. Order of operation tells us that we have to do multiplication first before we can do the addition. Any multiplication that appears, we must do it first before we do the addition. So this, we need to take care of this part first. This is 14 plus 3 and the correct answer is 17, not 20. Correct answer is 17, not 20. Number 6. Number 6 is kind of long, let's do it separately. Number 6 tells us 18 minus 6 times 4 minus 8 plus 3 times 5 minus 9. Let's see what we can do. So the first thing we're going to do is take care of this part here, 18 divided by 6 times 4. You see we have 18 divided by 6 times 4, we can take care of this entire thing in one shot like this. 18 divided by 6 times 4. 18 divided by 6 is 3 times 4 is 12. So this entire part is 12. This entire part is 12. Let's put it here. This whole thing is 12 because 18 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 8 plus, and now we did multiplication, we have to do that first plus 15 minus 9. That's it, we're done. The rest is very straightforward. 12 minus 8 is going to be 4 plus 15 minus 9 uh, plus 4 and minus 9 is going to be negative 5, negative 5 and a 15 is going to be positive 10. The answer is 10. Let's do one more. Number 7. We have 55 divided by 3 times 5 times 12. Now as you can see, as you can see, despite the fact that we have parentheses inside the parentheses, listen very carefully, despite the fact that it looks complicated, we have one parenthesis and, and another parenthesis outside, what we should notice here is that they are all simple multiplication addition. 
there is an addition sign. Uh, there's, there's a sorry, not multiplication addition. That's not what I meant to say. They are all multiplication and division. We have a division sign here. We have a multiplication sign here. We have a multiplication sign here. It's just a matter of multiplications and divisions. And we know that multiplication and divisions they both have the same priority. We can do the whole bloody thing in one shot. Let's do it instead of doing it step by step. 55 divided by 3 times 5, 55 divided by 3 times 5 times 12, voila. Divide top and bottom by 5, 5 is going to drop out and this is going to become 11. Divide top and bottom by 3, 3 is going to drop out and 12 is going to become 4. That's it, the answer is 44. The answer is 44. In other words, don't, in other words, don't waste your time trying to figure out what 55 divided by 15 is. That's going to be hell. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Why not?